Whenever people ask, oh, you teach math, what do you teach in math? The first thing that comes to mind for me is always multiplication. And that's because it feels like a huge chunk of our year goes towards the instruction on multiplication and division. And if you think about it, it makes sense. It's a huge amount of concepts to introduce to students and it is essential that we really take our time teaching these key multiplication strategies. That's why I wanted to share with you my top three tips to help you tackle those must teach strategies in your math classroom. Today I'm telling you my top three for repeated addition. When you're introducing multiplication, I think repeated addition is the easiest concept to start with for a few different reasons. First of all, your students are already familiar with that idea of addition. They understand what that concept is asking them to do mathematically. So taking those numbers instead of just saying, oh, we're adding two of them together, now we're adding four, five, six, 12, to introduce them to multiplication is a great way to build on the information they already have. Something that is super important when you're starting to introduce repeated addition as part of your multiplication instruction is to begin with vocabulary. I know what you're thinking, vocabulary in the math classroom? And my answer is, oh yes! Vocabulary is such a key piece to student success in math and that includes using repeated addition and multiplication. There's so many new terms they're gonna be seeing when they're assessed on this skill that we wanna teach those terms in advance. Build definitions with your students with clear examples for those words such as multiplication, repeated addition, factors, products. They're gonna to continue to see these words and so we want them to be comfortable with what they mean and how they can use them. My second tip to help your students master repeated addition for multiplication is to model, model, model. This is so key for really any math strategy, but I think it's super important for repeated addition because it's gonna help you catch a lot of misconceptions. The biggest thing that you're gonna see your students doing is reversing the order of their add-ins when they're modeling with repeated addition. So for example, they're gonna have four times two and they're gonna to wanna to say four plus four. Is four plus four technically gonna give you the same thing as two plus two plus two plus two? Yes, but we aren't introducing the properties of multiplication yet. We need our students to recognize that four times two is asking them to add two four times. By modeling with them, you can address this misconception and make sure your students are clear on what we're asking of them. After you've clearly modeled for your students and addressed some of those misconceptions, my third tip to help you find success with this skill is to make sure you have really clear practice for your students. One of the ways I like to do this is by using slides that are almost set up like fill in the blanks for my kiddos. This is where they're gonna be able to see, oh, two groups of seven and then translate it to seven plus seven equals 14. Since seven plus seven equals 14, two groups of seven must also equal 14, so two times seven must equal 14. I love to structure practice this way so it's really easy for all of my students to participate and practice this new skill with me in the lesson. I know I said I was only gonna give you three tips to start tackling this skill with your students, but my final tip is more of a question. How are you gonna make sure your students got what they needed from your lesson? My favorite thing to use is an exit ticket. Make it quick, see what your students know, and check in with students who need more support. That's it. Three things you can start doing right now to help your students master repeated addition within your multiplication instruction. If you're looking for any of those slides or resources I showed in this video, they're from our third grade multiplication unit. I love the daily slides that come in the unit because it truly has everything you need built in to build a really strong math mini lesson for your students. They also have fact fluency practice, warm up questions, and that exit ticket is included. I'm gonna have them linked up in the cards and down in the description box for you. 
happy multiplication season. If you're working on repeated edition, I know you are just at the very beginning of a long season of multiplication and division instruction. I'm sure you're gonna do great. If you're looking for more strategies to help with that instruction, make sure you check out our math playlist here on YouTube and hit that subscribe button while you're here. We put out new content every single week. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a not so wimpy day. Bye.